All right, today we're going to look at the UI editor and what that means and what it does. So let's just go to a new game. Let's just go to platformer, default objects, yes. And then here we can see I've got my movement controls, my jump, my shoot, teleporter. I get to this and now I have a new screen that's completely unique, completely different. Congratulations. So we're going to go to our level button, push level, and you can go to scene one. You can see it has a UI at the top right corner. I'm going to choose the level. It should see that, see that congratulations. So on the components, text says congratulations. You can manipulate that. Apparently, I can crash my game as well. Okay. Do, 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 do. Make games, default. Yes, it crashed my game um, when I push congratulations. Cancel, good. Okay, image, you can choose your image, obviously, of your totally different, uh, all your different types of animations that you've created. Play, hey look, congratulations. So, um, you can also add a button, and right now the button is just the level that it loads. So I can go back to title scene, um, I can move, make the, this button bigger or smaller, height and width, position it as well. Move this over here. And I'm going to have a text. I'm going to add text, push the add text button. Going to move the text over here. Snap spacing, the more you increase it, the faster it moves. Hello. This is going to say restart. Done. Okay. So then the button gets us to the previous level. We've got text there, an image there, and text there. You can also add another image if I wanted to. Um, and a box. Uh, box is uh, according to Smokey Avocado, it's an actual pocket dev UI control.cs class. It takes the inner game theme and wraps it around the box. Right now the inner game theme is just white, so the box shows up as white. You can change that color, but basically it's just going to be a border. So, um, Anyway, that's what that does. So I tap nothing, I can tap anything, but if I tap the restart, boom, it will lo it'll load back up to the previous level. Restart. Cool. So what can you do with this? Um, you can change the UI of your current game. So say I'm going to go back to uh, default platform, go. And what I want to do is go to my level settings. If I click on tiled scene 01, I push the UI button, and now this is going to change the UI of this current game. So I can add, uh, text will be there. Oops, I don't want to add these. Let's delete those. Delete image. Okay, so text. Delete that one. Okay, so I've got a box here. And that box, that first box that it shows on the components is typically where your NPC will talk to you. The A button will choose what the A button will look like. And the B button will choose what the B button will look like. The right, obviously, for the right, and the left, obviously, for the left. Now, there is text in the top right corner. This first text is the amount of hit points that you have. The second text is what it says health. You can delete those, um, but those are kind of handy to have. You can change the health to say hit points. You can have it say whatever you want. And there is a box here that just is the border for the health. So that's what that does. So say I want to change my right button to move right and my left button, I want it to move left. And my A button, I want that to jump. 
I'll just do this one and then I'll play. So the B button still should be still B B. The A button will show a jump and I can go left and right with those as well. Kind of cool. Let's see what else. Um, you can also do fancy dancy, fancy pantsy cutscenes or kind of an intro, which I'll go to Shaky Moon's uh, Ninja Way 05 game to give you an idea of the things that you can do. So what he's done here is just loaded an, loaded an image of this decoration that he's expanded, made it bigger, so you can see, and gives it a timestamp of how long it takes, how long it will take for this to this cutscene to go, or this decoration image to, to take place. Then he also has a skip button, which is a button, and I'll show you that. So I'm going to a button which then loads to the next level. So this will just continue to repeat, and I'll show you how he does that. Same thing here. He's got, uh, I can push anything in the background or just decorations, images that he's loaded onto his, his UI interface. And then once I push the start, it's a button which then loads to the first level. So pretty. And then also he has a UI interface for the B button, the A button, and the left and right. So if I go to his image, here's his image of the skip. <clears throat> the button is the actual one that loads the next level. The image here on the bottom uh, for the text and the image on the top for the, the decoration things. So let's go to his, I'll just load up this image. So you can see all the buttons he's got there for his UI interface for the A, B, left and right. And then he's created See if I can get to them. Here we go. These little images. Uh, yeah, I definitely should not have done that, but um, I'm going to add another image. Sure, why not? I'm going to move the image over here. And I'm going to make it really big. Actually, you know, I'm going to make it really small. And that image is going to be click on the image button and that image is going to be scroll down here and I did ask him permission to do this so uh, just kind of give you an idea so I will have it be this image of the tree so I go to push play and I've got my <laughs> side scroller thing I've got the tree I've got the background and his uh, his whole animation so I'll push the skip, push start, and there you have it. So in order to create what he did, which I thought was ingenious, was if I go to, I'll probably need to go to an actual, I need to get out of the user interface level and go to an actual level, which was this one, I think. Doesn't really matter which level, as long as it's not a user interface level. Nope, not definitely not that one either. I'll just click on one of these. Coming, how about coming soon? Okay, so let's go to his sprites. Oh boy. So his title screen. So here's his decorations. So here's the the background stuff, the background, background. I'm looking for words title screen phase three oops opening here we go so he's created decorations here so let's click on this decoration so here's how he's done this he's made this one second half a second long four seconds long, half a second long, six seconds, half a second. So this is kind of how he's created his words of how it's going to be playing out. Same thing for the other decoration. That way he can scale it to make it bigger or smaller for the whole story of the ancient evil awoke. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm going to tap this. So this is 
you can't really read it. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1, 0 0.4. And goes on to draw the picture and tell the story of the evil monster. So, pretty cool. That's what user interface could do. You just create what you want as a decoration. The only reason why I use decoration, why I like decoration, is because you can scale it. So I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can make it huge. Um, so I just made this decoration. Now as I go to place it, well, maybe not. Opening scene, decoration. Click on decoration, move it to the front without crashing the game. Place it, place it right there, now it's huge. <laughs> so, that's how it's done. Decoration can do it as well. So, that's kind of the gist of UI Editor and what it can do um, and the things that you can change also. On here, he's already changed his buttons A, B, and left and right, so. That's what UI can do. You gotta draw the images, the sprites that you want to go there and then plug them in and off you go. That's it for UI Editor and uh, decorations as well.